In a previous podcast, we learned that Malassezia plays a major role in septderm, but is part of our normal skin microbiome. So, what encourages Malassezia growth and how do we prevent it? Malassezia is normally found on the skin surface. However, when the skin's natural balance is disrupted, this yeast can overgrow and in susceptible individuals like you and me, cause septerm. There are so many things that can encourage Malassezia growth, but these are the most common causes. Hot, humid weather. Ironically, dry, cold weather as well. Sweating. Skin microbiome imbalance. Applying oils that feed Malassezia to your scalp or face. Increased sebum production, for example during puberty, stress, depression, and fatigue, chronic illnesses like HIV, Parkinson's, epilepsy, and hepatitis C, medications like lithium, soralin, chlorpromazine, and methyl dopa, vitamin and mineral deficiency, especially B vitamins and zinc, and a diet high in sugar and bad carbs. How do we prevent Malassezia, you ask? Unfortunately, there is no known way to prevent Malassezia altogether. And I'm not sure if you would want to either. Eradicating Malassezia totally would probably upset the balance of our skin microbiome and who knows what the consequences are of that. However, there are plenty of ways we can discourage Malassezia growth and its effect on our skin. Use a dehumidifier if you live in hot, humid environments. Have a shower, washing your face and hair after excessive sweating. Get enough sunlight but not too much. Use moisturizers that hydrate your skin and reduce sebum production. And use antifungal creams like clotrimazole to kill Malassezia. You can also strengthen your skin barrier so whatever Malassezia you do have can't penetrate as deep into your skin. Choose moisturizers that contain ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid to protect and repair your skin barrier. Eat a diet high in whole foods and plants and low in sugar and processed foods. Introduce probiotics into your diet via food or supplements. Stop smoking and reduce stress. Check out the article linked below to read more about Malassezia and Septum. My name is Sharon and I run the blog and newsletter at madamwell.com. Check out this next podcast and read more at madamwell.com. Link below. Thanks for listening. Bye.